Um, you said you had done some body bodyguard work mm-hmm. for some famous people. I'm not going to ask you to name names, but to give people a sense, because you know, I mean, tech, anybody can hire a bodyguard, right? Like I can go down to the Valentine Resort and be like, "Yo, I need, I need, I need some muscle." Yeah, right. Yeah. Valentine though. Yeah, the Valentine Resort. It's a nice hotel. Obama stayed there. I thought you were going to say like a nightclub, like the White nah, House. Nah. Or I mean, you know, honest. you know, Valentine is a rough part of town in you know, these days. You got to, you got to strap up. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway. um, so, but if you were to, like, if you were to like name someone who you've protected, it would be you. There are at least like a handful of people that everybody watching this would know. Correct. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah. I just wanted to. I, I kind of wanted to to build up your social proof a little bit uh, because well, people say, "Oh, you, oh, I, 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 I know you can't say," but I just want. I just wanted to kind of paint that picture like you've watched some really notable people you've protected yeah. some really notable people so yeah. and, and it, you know it's funny the security scene in new york is is huge and there are a lot of security companies out there i i i was fortunate to work enough to work with uh, sterling security and they uh, they get a lot of events from mm-hmm. um just red carpet events i remember years ago they used to do the uh album record signings cd signings virgin music store and uh, uh, cd signings cd signings yeah, yeah cd signings you imagine that oh. uh, i remember the lines <laughs> go down the block and and obviously just from working with that company and another company you 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 kind of make a, a name for yourself and then you branch off a little bit and work independently with with uh certain people you know and uh it, it, it's a uh, I, d- I did have the pleasure of working with DMX for five years. Mm. Rest and, in peace. Yeah, absolutely. Rest in peace to X. Um, that was an incredible ride. Uh, incredible person. Yeah. Good. Yeah, really good dude. He had his demons, but, you know, and, and the bottom line, his heart, you know, was bigger than a rocket. <laughs> yeah, you know, what's crazy is um, wh- one of the things that, I'm sure you can relate is uh, you realize sometimes almost accidentally how old you are based on when you're trying to have a conversation with somebody and they don't know like what celebrity you're talking about, or they don't know like, like a, a, a world event that it just seems like common knowledge to somebody who's lived through that time. So, um, you know, we mentioned that my wife was born the same year that, that you became a cop. Mm-hmm. And the day, the day DMX passed, we were, we were out running around, and we, uh, I told her, I was like, yo, we're going to listen, we're going to listen to X all day. So go ahead and get ready to clutch your pearls. Cause mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing clean edition, right? right, right? right you there. can't, yeah, you can't, it do doesn't, you don't do it justice, right? So yeah. you got to have the, you know, you got to have, as long as there's no kids around. Right, right, right. And the kids weren't, weren't around mom. I, we, we didn't have They the were kids. actually with mom. <laughs> they, yeah. They, oh yeah. They were with mom. So, uh, you know, we, we were playing party up and rough riders anthem. And so, you know, after she got done clutching her pearls, I, I showed her the video of the, the world famous concert that he, that he threw when it was like everybody in the world was there. Um, and I thought just everybody knew about that concert cause it, it shows up on Twitter all the time. Yeah. And you know, people who lived through it, who were there, it's I mean, Woodstock, people, I think. yeah, people yeah. still oh, talk what? about it to this day. And I showed it to her and she was like, Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> so are those real people? Are those real people? <laughs> <laughs> and it like, I swear like half, the popular, like half the population was, was there. And she was like, people all the way, like the little specks on the back of the screen. Like she was like, they can't even, they can't even see him. Like, why are they there? Like, it just doesn't matter. Like he was that big of a presence just culturally. And then obviously, you know, on, in the rap scene. Yeah. You couldn't, we couldn't go anywhere and nobody not recognize recognize him. And I don't care where we went. I mean, a seven 11 gas station, there was somebody in there, the guy behind the counter, somebody recognized X. Yeah. And it was just, he just had that, that aura about him. You know, people just gravitated, you know, and they, I don't know, they appreciated him. And, you know, obviously he stayed in the news. <laughs> so it's just, yeah. it's just X. Stay, yeah. stay relevant. Yeah. Um, I, I thought it was pretty cool looking back that he got to do that versus last year. Um, the best. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, yeah. I know we've, we've watched verses sometimes when we've, we've been smoking at your house and, 
a lot of, I know you always, you're like the versus notification for the family. <laughs> like anytime there's a versus, I know I'm going to get the text from Mark. Like, yo, versus next week, eight o'clock. Um, and it's not an invitation. It's just like, I'm letting you know that it's going to be on. So you need to watch. Um, oh, 420, you got uh, yeah. Red Man and Method Man. Right. Yeah. And so I don't, I don't think I watched that one, unfortunately. Um, but just knowing that he don't, at that point, he only had pretty much a year left to live. Um, I'm just glad that, you know, for all of his fans and, and you know, everybody to kind of have a little nostalgia, you know, he got to get up there with Snoop and have the, the dog, the yeah, dog yeah. V dog. I mean, everybody, X always got love, you know, wherever he went, whatever he did, he always got love. So yeah. uh, it wasn't, it's not like one of those things where he didn't get his flowers while he was True. here. True. He definitely did. Yeah.